And so you really like this. Does Nate Adams just, you know, hound you to do this sort of thing? Or is this is this really where you want to go no, with your life? I, I think he influenced my thinking, like accelerated. We're probably where I was going to end up. He accelerated things. Um, what did he say uh, to you that, that, well, first of all, I'm assuming you weren't burning oil in the backyard or anything before this. No. But, I mean, what did he tell you that kind of inspired you to go farther in this direction? I'm curious. I, I think it was more like um, it was – you know, a heat pump can handle winter conditions. That, 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 that was that. that was probably like the last thing because I had another guy who was working with me as a, a kind of construction consultant friend of mine. And he was saying, ah, you got to get gas. You got to have gas. Gas is better heat. Gas is warmer. You'll regret it. And I'm like, and Nate's like, I, you know, I've done the research. Here you go. Here's what you're looking at. So we, you know, th I think that was the biggest thing. And then from there kind of, went into the heat pump ERV and the heat pump clothes dryer and, you know, that, that kind of thing. So heat how many pump water heater? So. Do you have all of those items? Yeah. That'd be interesting to compare. I've never had a gas dryer. I know there's gas dryers out there. Oh, yeah. I've always had yeah. electric dryer. Uh, so I guess Nate would be happy with that. It's still electric, just not the most efficient electric. Yeah. And heat pump dryers are, are kind of expensive. Um, but, they're very low energy use. I mean, like the energy star sticker on it says $12 a year. $12 a year for a dryer. Yeah. My dryer is $12 for a load. Yeah. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but it's much closer to the truth than that yeah. yearly figure. <laughs> well, That's interesting. Uh, see, I've never pursued. I mean, I don't, I know heat pumps can do it. One of the first books I ever read uh, when I really started reading and caring about what I was doing in the field. Uh, it was written back in the 80s, and it said heat pumps can be built to do any climate. The thing is that they're, they're built for the climate which they're currently serving, in which they're currently purchased in, which is a relatively warm, comparatively southern climate. But they can be built in manufacturing design to function anywhere. It's just a yeah. question of how you design it. Yeah, our, our, we have a two-ton air source heat pump for a pretty big house. Uh, it's uh, 4,400 square feet with the basement. It's conditioned to. And we have a design temperature of 9 degrees Fahrenheit. And it basically kept up when it was 4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's impressive. And I had switched off the resistance heat. How much resistance so, heat is there? 10 kilowatts. So 10 kilowatts. I think that's close to three tons or just like a little bit less than. It is. It's 34,000 yeah. BTUs and yeah. some change. So yeah, right. that's a lot more energy usage than the rest of your heat pump. That's for right. sure. So, so, I mean, during defrost cycles, you ever notice in defrost cycles, any discomfort? No, I haven't detected. I, I, it's not been obvious. Maybe I've like started to sense it, but then it just, you know, don't don't bother it doesn't bother me and there's an outside possibility I, I don't know when you say switch them off maybe the defrost still runs them because it kind of comes from a different direction yeah I, I think the defrost just runs as an ac right it runs as an ac and powers up the heat strips but the signal instead of coming from the thermostat will come from the outdoor unit the heat pump itself so right. in theory they could have disabled it at your thermostat but it could still be used during defrost. Yeah. So which would make sense because defrost is still blowing air conditioning inside, uh, even if it is just two tons of air conditioning. Mm -hmm. But your house won't let it go because it's so tight. Yeah. You'll freeze in the winter. Right. I hear it's cold in Pennsylvania, nine degrees, and our design is 20 degrees. Wow. Which doesn't seem like it's that different, but it's a world of difference. It is. Because <laughs> I can imagine someone having a design of 31 degrees. I say, what is that, Miami? Florida mm -hmm. or something, it's nuts. Mm -hmm.